Samsung just dropped another massive update for their older phones, which bring a lot of the Galaxy S23 features to these phones. Let's take a look and see what you get. And a heads up before we start, it's currently Discover Samsung week, and you can get huge savings on Samsung's phones, $3,700 off a TV, and a bunch more savings on other products. If you want to support the channel, I'll have affiliate links to these products in the pinned comment below. Or if you don't want to support the channel but still want these products, you can head straight to Samsung.com to see the deals. All right, let's get to the new features. So right here, I have the Galaxy Z Flip 4 on One UI 5.0 and the Galaxy S22 Ultra on One UI 5.1 to more easily show you guys the differences between the two. But to be clear, the One UI 5.1 update is available for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. If you use pop-up windows often like I do for things like the calculator, you can now manipulate them more easily by either swiping down from a corner to completely minimize it or swiping all the way up to the corner to maximize it. Previously, this would only shrink the app down to the smallest size or expand it to the corner, but not fully expand it. If you wanted to minimize or expand this application before, you'd have to tap this bar, then tap either the minimize or expand icons. If you frequently use split screen view by going to your recent applications, tapping the application icon, then tapping split screen view, you'll see a new option called most used applications that wasn't previously available. So if you frequently use split screen view with various different applications, this feature will help you get right back into those split screen pairs much faster. And in case you're wondering, you can still, of course, scroll down and see all of your other applications. Samsung DeX, which is a feature that turns your phone into a full-blown desktop computer when you plug it into an external monitor, now supports the ability to snap windows to all four corners. Previously, you could only snap to one side or the other. And if you have a window snapped to either side, you can now drag the middle bar and resize both applications at the same time. Previously, you can only resize one application at a time. And to be clear, the only Samsung flagships that don't have DeX are the Flip series. But if you have an S series or Fold series device, you will have DeX available. Samsung's most powerful application called Modes and Routines also got some updates. And in case you're not familiar with this application, it lets you automate almost anything on your phone as well as any smart devices that you can control from your phone. It truly is remarkably powerful. And if you guys wanna learn more about it, you can check out a recent video I uploaded on the Galaxy S23 Ultra, where I showed you guys the first 10 powerful features to enable. While I demonstrate those features on the S23 Ultra, all of the features I show there are also available on older versions of Samsung phones. For now, I'm just gonna show you what's new. The first new feature is that when you're setting up modes, you can now select specific wallpapers for that mode. This allows you to have a business or professional wallpaper when you're at work, then have your phone automatically switch to maybe a family related wallpaper when you're home. And this also lets you change the clock face on your watch, which would be particularly useful if you're working out, because you could automatically switch the watch face to a sports oriented watch face that has shortcuts to all your different workouts. Then when you leave the gym, it'll automatically go back to your normal watch face. In the routines tab, you also get access to new actions. So if I go into the then statements, you'll see a new option called connected devices. And this allows you to automate your call and text and other devices settings, Samsung deck settings, link to window settings, and your quick share settings. And all these modifications were previously unavailable on One UI 5. If you jump into the display settings, you can see that you can now automate your font style. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see a new option for touch sensitivity as well. The last few new modifications can be found in sound and vibrations and right at the bottom. So you can now automate Bixby voice volume, in-call volume, and even your ringtone. So these are some pretty cool improvements so far, but we're just getting started. If you open up the phone application, then tap the three dots in the upper right corner, go to settings, you'll see Bixby text call on both devices. But previously, this was limited only to Korean. Now, Samsung's brought Bixby text call to English speaking countries. And what this does is allow you to have Bixby answer the call for you and ask the caller what they're calling about. Then Bixby will transcribe what they're saying and give you a text version of what they said. From there, you can text back and Bixby will read out what you said, or you can answer the call. So this is an excellent service for helping to avoid spam calls. This next new feature is specific to the Fold and S series devices. So right now I've got my Fold 3 on One UI 5 to demonstrate this. If I scroll all the way to the right on both phones, you'll see that in the more menu, I get this new option called Expert Raw on the One UI 5.1 device. Now Expert Raw is a bonus camera application that can be downloaded from Samsung's Galaxy Store. And what this does is give you enhanced camera features. Previously, you would have to separately open the Expert Raw application in order to get to these features. So it's nice to see that Samsung's consolidated both applications into one on the One UI 5.1 update. When you're taking a picture with the front facing camera and you tap this wand icon in the upper right corner, you now get the option to adjust the color tone right from within this menu. 
Previously, you'd have to go to the Settings app, then change your selfie color tone here. You'd then have to go all the way back into the camera application to take the picture. So this is a much faster way to make quick adjustments. If you go to the gallery application and tap the search icon, you can now search for multiple people at the same time. So on my S22 Ultra, which has the 5.1 update, if I tap on a second face, it'll only show pictures with both of those people in the pictures. On my Fold 3, which has One UI 5, if I tap on one face, then tap on a different face, it just switches to those different people. If you tap the three dots on a GIF, you can now remaster it to get more vibrant colors. Previously, this was only available for still images. If you go to your albums, then tap the plus icon, you'll see a new option here called Shared Family Album. And what this does is allow you to create a shared album for up to six people. And that album gets an extra five gigabytes of space for each person added to the album. So that would give you a total of 30 free gigabytes of cloud storage for this album if you add all six people. So this is an excellent feature if you take a family trip and you want everyone to have access to the photos you took in that trip. Samsung's updated their photo info screen as well with more information on that one screen. Previously, if I wanted to see all these extra details, I'd have to tap this arrow first. Even if I open up the Fold 3 to the inner screen, I'd still have to tap that arrow to see all the extra information. If you go to Settings, then scroll all the way down and open up Advanced Features, then tap Screenshots and Screen Recorder, you'll see a new option that allows you to choose the specific location that you save your screenshots and screen recordings. So if you want to do something like have your downloads and screenshots in the same folder, you can do that right here. If you long press or pinch in on your home screen, then tap widgets, you'll see that you get a new option called battery. And what this does is allow you to see the battery percentage of just about any connected device. For reference, here's what this widget looks like with multiple devices connected on my Galaxy S23 Ultra. As you can see, it even tells you when something's charging. The smart suggestions widget, which suggests different applications at different times of the day, depending on how you use your phone, also got an update. This will now also recommend Spotify tracks and playlists based on your current activity. Now I can't demonstrate this because I don't personally use Spotify, but if you do, it may be useful for you. Samsung's weather app and dynamic weather widget also got some significant improvements. Starting with a widget, you'll now get text to tell you what the weather is, and the animations have also been improved. If you tap on the widget, you'll get your new animation, You'll get the weather written right here. You also now get severe weather alerts at the top. Your hourly forecast now has a weather summary at the top of it. And the temperature bar now changes color depending on the temperature. And the last improvement is this graph down here, which gives you the hourly rainfall or snowfall in inches. Link to Windows is another incredibly powerful feature that allows you to control your phone from your Windows-based laptop or desktop. Most notably, it allows you to send and receive texts right from your computer. And with the One UI 5.1 update, you now get the ability to continue your web browsing sessions right from your computer. If you want to know the truth about Samsung's fake moon photos explained by an engineer with the math and examples to prove that Samsung is not just creating detail from nothing, check out this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the rest of my deep dive coverage on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.